What is on your mind, Apprentice? So much. I've only touched the dark side, and already I feel as though the galaxy is unfurling before me. There's so much to take in. And I'll admit, I'm a little uncertain about what it means to be Sith. You must learn how things run around here, and how best to serve me. Tell me, what do you think your role as my apprentice is about? What do you suppose our relationship is? You are my master in all things. I do as you say, no matter what. My life belongs to you. That's how I was trained. But I want to do things differently. Show respect and honor my commands. But you can look me in the eye. Oh. I only wish you'd found me sooner. All my life I've felt kept and confined. Always wanting to watch what I say, treating emotion as the enemy. The dark side is my freedom. I'm going to express everything. We believe that letting our emotions flow makes us stronger and unlocks our potential. As you speak, I am swelling with pride and hope. Please, may I ask you something? You need not be cautious with me, Jasa. Your availability is a gift. It's about the Twi'lek, Vat. Can she be trusted? She seems rather... soft. Vet lacks the will and the ability to resist. She complains, but does as she's told. If you're comfortable with her, then I am as well. I see I have much to absorb. I'm humbled by your attention. Thank you. We can continue this discussion another time. Of course, my master. Master, your indulgence, please? We haven't spoken for some time. Are you upset with me? I'm not hard to find. If you want to talk, speak up. Tell me anything. Can I tell you it angers me to be ignored? The nobles on Alderaan treated me like I wasn't there. First because I was just a servant, then because they knew I could see through their pomp and distortions. I wanted to expose it all, bring their political nonsense to a halt. What was stopping you? I was naive. Stupid. And the lady I served seemed sincere when she advised me not to. Of course she ended up using me for her own ambitions. Deep down I hated my life, but I swallowed those feelings. No wonder Noman Carr came calling for you. The Jedi turns suppression into an art form. It's pathetic. You saved me from an utterly terrible existence. I'll never stop thanking you. Master, remember the last Imperial port we were docked at? Because I don't. I think I partied a little too hard there. I vaguely recall an Imperial soldier. I think he and I, uh, got to know each other. Either that or I might have killed him. Or both, maybe. It's fuzzy. Don't get confused, Jaser. Being Sith is not about rampant hedonism. Really? Why not? I work hard. Why can't I play hard? But don't get me wrong, I'm not really interested in nameless, faceless, possibly lifeless grunts. I reserve my interest for much more accomplished men. You're staring at one right now. Now look, you've gone and made me blush. You'll see, I'm a quick learner. I, I won't be so clumsy next time. Until then. Thank you for granting me this audience, Master. I'll only take a moment. I have nightmares. I'm wearing the plain robe of the Jedi. When I wake up, I giggle like a small girl. I'd like to see that. In your presence, that giggle would be a full-bodied laugh. I've come to realize that my appreciation of you puts me at odds with the precept of the Sith way. It is expected that an apprentice will eventually seek to overthrow her master. You'll never have to worry about that. I'm glad to hear it. That's all. Thank you for this time, Master. Master, I'm plagued. Tell me what's on your mind. What's on my mind? Let me see, how should I put it? Disenchantment? No, not strong enough. I'm feeling rather betrayed. It's becoming clear that the dark side is as flawed and undependable as everything else. Using my power to reach out into the galaxy, I'm becoming aware of false Sith. Lords who are secretly leaning toward the light. Supply me with names, and we will deal with it. 
If I knew, I would have already torn out their eyes myself. It will take time for me to pinpoint who and where they are, but believe me, I will find them. I'm glad this concerns you as much as it does me. Master, I know I've been moody lately, preoccupied about the false Sith I seek. I want you to know my confidence in the Empire is shaky, but my commitment to the dark side is strong. I'm reveling in the power of my new emotions. I'm all ears. Tell me about these new emotions. You name it, I feel it. Hatred. Elation. Fury. Lust. I haven't properly thanked you for this amazing gift. I don't want you to think I take you for granted. You should know that I can be, well, anything that you wish me to be. This will help me decide what I wish you to be. Hmm. I like that side of you. I look forward to getting to know you better. We've only scratched the surface. If the Jedi only knew what they were missing. You have something to tell me. I'm just informing you that I will be disembarking for a short while. I've finally tracked down the false Sith I'm sensing. It's time for me to bathe in their impure blood. Sever a few limbs for me, will you? You add fire to my rage, Master. I will return once my bloodlust has been quenched. The false Sith are dead. I slaughtered them. I slaughtered them all. But not before getting confessions from each and making them beg. I've never felt such satisfaction. Let it feed you. There are few greater experiences than destroying traitors. I will be on the lookout for every one of those experiences. For now, I'll continue to use my power to search for traitorous Sith, then systematically eradicate them all. The Empire will be pure when I am through. I vow it. Master, as time passes, the thrill of killing the light side Sith is ebbing. I'm in search of a new thrill. Perhaps one slightly more... personal in nature? Master, I want you. Why don't we find someplace quiet? I like a woman who's direct. Follow me. Everything looks a little different when you're relaxed, you know? The sky is brighter, the stars... Shinier. Can't wait to get all tense again. You can come to me whenever you're stressed. In our line of work? That won't be long. Until next time, Master. It's so amusing to think I was once training to be a Jedi. You're opening me up to my true potential. I feel such power surging through me. It's no small task keeping up with me. I won't hesitate to drop you if you fall too far behind. How romantic. You know that kind of talk only makes me more focused. I'm so hungry for more. Master, I have become aware of an amazing development. The other night I couldn't sleep. I sensed something and ventured out, tracking the sensation. I came upon a badly injured Sith who reeked of the light side. He was suffering and on the verge of death. Are you murdering people in your sleep now, Jaser? Even I couldn't have done this. Asleep or awake. He spoke of a Sith and his agents whose sole purpose is to hunt down traitors to the dark side. Whoever this Sith is, he filled this man with such fear and pain. All I can think is... Where do we sign up? We could coordinate efforts with this Sith. Exactly my thinking. We can share information and pool resources and clean up the Empire all the more thoroughly. By using my power on the dying man, I got an impression of the Sith who did the damage. I'm reaching out with my senses to try to catch his scent. Some kind of trail I can follow to locate him. 
You have my blessing. Leave no stone unturned. I will be thorough, Master. Master, I have exciting news. A trail of corpses, all slain the same as the light-side Sith I found, has led me to the perpetrator. His name is Lord Sendence. He's been secretly hand-chosen by the Dark Council to eradicate any and all Sith who are not pure. He operates with impunity. No one is above his judgment. It makes my mouth water just thinking about such power. Why should this Sendence have such authority? From what I've learned, he is an uncommon butcher. Driven by darkness. He's already accused and destroyed so many traitors. It's a mystery to me how he has been so prolific without my special power. But I've reached out to him, and he has granted me an audience. Keep your wits, Jaser. Power can corrupt. And this man has been handed great authority. If you're jealous, don't be. I'll be back in my quarters every night. Or in yours. This is my destiny. The purpose of my power, I know it. Now, I'm meeting him shortly. Leave a light on for me. I see you've returned from meeting Lord Sendence. How was it? Interesting, to say the least. Within moments, I realized he was killing any Sith he pleased, all in the name of hunting traitors. Very few of his victims were valid targets, and he was very excited that my special power would unequivocally validate his work. Said that we could literally reorganize the entire power structure of the Empire. To entice me, he suggested we start by pointing the finger at you. Tell me you laughed in his face. I laughed in it. Then I stuck my lightsaber through it. The man wanted me to abuse my gifts and betray the one person in the galaxy I respect and owe my life to. It took everything I had, but it was the most satisfying kill of my young life. I applaud you, Jaser. Relish this moment. Oh, I do, Master. But there's even more. The Dark Council's emissary, a man named Kaliku, was there too. He's the one holding Lord Sendence's leash on this assignment. He offered me Sendence's mandate. As I sensed light-leaning Sith, I'd report them to him. And when possible, I'd be sent to eradicate. Your dream come true, and a deserved distinction, Jaser. I will make you proud. I promise. And don't think I'll forget that it's you who has made this possible. My devotion will never flutter. Thank you. Master, everything else aside... The visceral experience of facing Lord Sendence continues to tantalize me. I relive it nightly and awaken buzzing. When I feel such pleasure, all I can think of is sharing it with you. When I feel pain, I ache to be consoled by you. I know what this is. It's love. Actions speak louder than words, Jaser. Believe me, I ache to show you how deep my love runs. But I want this to be different. Special. As you already know, my reflex is to rush to instant gratification, but... Let's milk this feeling. This want. Let it build before we act on it. All the better to wait until we ache with longing. The ache in me spikes when you talk like that. I think we are going to like this little experiment. I have to say, this idea to wait and let the desire churn... Fantastic. I'm burning for you like never before. I think it's time to do something about it, don't you? You read my mind. Follow me to my quarters. I like it when you lead. I'll be watching you the whole way there. Have to admit, that was so worth the wait. Instant gratification is overrated. I'm a new woman now. So much greater intensity is built through denying one's appetites and then gorging. I'm going to apply this lesson to all things. Eating. Training. Killing. I won't take the easy, quick path ever again. I'm glad you found what fulfills you. You fulfill me. And I trust you. Completely. 
You're the first person I have no compulsion to use my power on in order to be sure I understand. When I'm with you, I, I actually forget that I have this power. And it is such relief. I'm realizing I never really relaxed before. All my stresses subside when we're together. All right, this is almost too sweet. We don't want the galaxy thinking we've gone soft, do we? Let's get back to work. I look around, I see other men, even the uncomplicated strong ones, you know. My type. And there's no reaction. It's like every cell inside me knows. You and I are made for each other. So you better propose or something, because our offspring will be the most powerful creatures in the galaxy. Marriage first. We'll talk about the rest later. That sounds like a proposal to me. Did you see that? My nostrils just flared and my pupils dilated. I love my emotions. I love being Sith. Husband, will it ever stop? The craving for greater power, the lust for more conquest? To Sith, those things are like breathing. The way I feel, the drive you've awakened and sustained in me will never extinguish. My last breath will be expelled fiercely. Our children will be so gifted, and I'll use my special powers to help guide them and your future disciples. Together, we will build the most fearsome legacy the galaxy has ever seen. <laughs>